management with us, uh, Snowman Logistics. The stock's doing well. The company reported a stable set of numbers for the third quarter, which is otherwise a seasonally weak quarter. And as a result of which, there was seasonal softness in meat, poultry, and some of their healthcare segments as well. The stock sitting up with a gain of 4% has been a big mover over the last couple of months itself. Uh, we have with us Sunil Nair, who's the CEO and whole time director. Thanks a lot, Sunil, for joining in. Wish you um, congratulations on a steady set of numbers with the last few quarters. You know, um, before we delve into the long term prospects of the company, I just wanted your thoughts on how the fourth quarter has been for you. Because, you know, the third quarter did better in seasonally weak quarter because winters were almost absent. Now, the first two months of the fourth quarter, we've seen a cold wave across the country. Has that seen an impact on your business? And as a result of which, how is the second half likely to pan out? What's your prognosis for uh, the next couple of quarters? Uh, hi, uh, good morning and thank you. Uh, yes, uh, uh, due to the winter, extended winter uh, this year, there has been a slight impact on uh, the ice cream industry a little. Uh, the overall volume which we, are, we were expecting to uh, start picking up uh, by mid of February is extended to first week of March. Uh, but uh, we believe that it will uh, still make up uh, with the growth that it has already achieved over last year. So we are still uh, ambitious about doing better than the Q3 uh, in Q4 as well, uh, as, uh, as, as in every year, because other segments like QSR and uh, seafood are showing a better trend. So we are quite hopeful about it. So third quarter, you had a near 13% revenue growth. The first nine months of this year is close to 23% on the top line. What do you end FY24 with? Uh, we are uh, expecting somewhere around upwards of 500 crores for this year. 500. All right. Hi, Sunil. Good to see you. And after a while, that would mean that you would do around 124 crores odd at least for uh, the fourth quarter. You know, just going by it mathematically. Give us a couple of more details. Um, you know, you had some capacity expansion that was coming on stream, I think, Kolkata phase one as well. So has that come on stream? When does that come on stream? What is your current capacity and where is it headed? Yeah, so we our current capacity is 1,45,000 pallet positions and Kolkata phase one is under construction. It's almost 40% done. It will take another uh, four to six months time, uh, you know, for us to have it commissioned. And we expect that from August onwards, we will start generating revenue from that facility. At the same time, uh, there is a build-to-suit asset light uh, warehouse coming up in uh, Lucknow, which is also under construction. And more or less same time, uh, this will also be up and ready for our use, which is uh, a partnered uh, model where we don't invest much. We invest only in the refrigeration side, whereas yeah. everything else is invested by our partner. Uh, okay. So these are the two projects which are uh, undergoing. The next, which will come up uh, immediately after this is commissioned, is Krishna Patnam and Bhuvaneshwar. These two facilities will also be taken into construction very soon. Okay. All right. Sunil, so if I got that correct, Kolkata is in the works. Uh, you spoke about Lucknow and then Odisha also, right? So three, uh, yeah. uh, you know. Okay. So currently you're at 145,000, 1,45,000. Uh, post this capacity expansion, where does the capacity head and by when? By the end of FY25, all this expansion will come on stream? Yes, by the end of FY25, all these will be functional. At okay. the same time, uh, last month, which is January, we uh, started one location, which is Guwahati, where 6,000 pallets were added on a completely leased model. So all our future expansions are going to be hybrid, where we lease wherever possible and also build where we don't have a ready-made facility. And hence, uh, uh, you know, our, our ambition is by FY25, uh, uh, we come as close to 2 lakh pallet positions as possible. Right, that's close to 2 lakh pallet positions by FY25, end of FY25. I just wanted to, uh, you know, uh, put some thoughts on this fully leased storage facility as well. What exactly does this do for you? One, uh, it enables faster capacity addition with lesser investment. But does that also mean lesser margins for you? I mean, how does this entire model work? And what does it do to your revenue and margin potential going forward? Yeah, so when it comes to a completely leased facility, one is it is quicker because the facility is up and ready. So you don't spend time one year, you know, constructing the facility and uh, your cash flow is better. You don't invest in those facilities. You go and invest where there is no such leasing options. So your expansion is faster. 
and you are right from a margin at an EBITDA level yes it is uh, you know lesser because capex is invested by someone and they expect a return on that but at a pat level it, this works out better for us uh, you know, because of the less risk with respect to the uh, capacity and equipments that are uh, being leased so we we look at it uh, both one uh, from a cash flow point of view and second at a pat level we find this better option okay all right so let's get to the numbers then right capacity is we have a fair bit of an idea uh, give and take everything, what kind of a revenue growth should, should you be looking at for FY25, FY26? And going by all that you said with regard to your lease model and the other you know, operational changes that you've made, what is the margin band we should work with? So, uh, see, as you know, we have changed our business model a little a year back, wherein we brought in the 5PL services where we own inventory, and that is picking up... Uh, I mean, their contribution of that is uh, uh, very large now, and that is growing fastest in the overall segment. Uh, so we see that margin in terms of percentage may start dropping because of the blend, but uh, overall uh, that is going to contribute much more with very least uh, investment because there we invest only in the working capital of inventory holding. Uh, so the returns are much better. So uh, we, we have an ambition to reach close to 1,000 crore, 800 to 1,000 crore by 2026, FY26. Uh, with that uh, ambition, all our uh, initiatives and actions are uh, directed towards that. All right, uh, 1,000 crores by 2026, that's uh, the long-term target that you've given us. Uh, Sunil, I also wanted your thoughts on two things. One is, uh, you know, value added as uh, your offering has increased. How much is that as a proportion of your sales? What is the upselling opportunity here? That's point number one. And secondly, there is increased competition as well. You guys aren't the only game in town now, right? Everyone's looking at this as an important offering. We've seen that across the board. One of your listed peers as well, Transport Corp, has a target of uh, getting anywhere uh, between, you know, 90 to 100 crores in this year itself, increasing at 25, 30% over the next few years. Competitive intensity has increased. So how do you, you know, protect your clients and growth from here? So, uh, see, with our uh, presence across the country, uh, we don't see any direct competition as of now because what we find is many uh, regional players are the main competitors to us. Uh, there is no national player who has presence in 19 cities where we are present. So we offer completely a different uh, you know, uh, value proposition to our customers. Scalability or reach to the country is much, much quicker when it is someone partners with us, you know. So uh, a, a new brand wanting to get into the country or wanting to launch in the country, uh, they want to sell it at Siliguri or they want to sell it in Mumbai, we are there. So uh, this proposition is not there with any of the competition as of now. But yes, you are absolutely right. It, uh, the industry is attracting uh, a lot of investment and people are looking at it from a uh, you know opportunity point of view. So Sunil, you believe that you'll have the edge and you'll have something that maybe competition doesn't have as of now. We take that. So we've spoken enough about business. Let's wind this conversation down with a promoter entity. You know, I always believe that the promoter entity is the, is the investor that backs the company the most. And if he puts his money out there, then that gives confidence. They've increased stake to around 45%. Where is that number headed? Uh... I think uh, the promoter company would be better uh, answering this uh, question. We are very happy that they are showing confidence and increasing their stake in the company. <laughs> they have not mentioned anything to you, Sunil. <laughs> uh, I, I, am, I am not supposed to talk about that company. No, so I, I'll tell you one thing, Sunil. You know, basically, uh, the promoter entity, Mr. Prem Kushan Gupta, had uh, told us here on our channel about six months ago itself, and we asked about you know them increasing their stake in Snowman Logistics. They said, as and when they have free cash flow, they will keep increasing their stake in snowman logistics lo and behold that stake has increased from what sub 42 percent to a little around 45 percent i just wanted to know if he's gonna go the whole hog and perhaps take it to 51 percent at some point uh i would i would reserve my comments here because so i'll uh, tell you what i'll tell you what sunil uh, you know we'll uh, let you go at that but in the next few days i'm going to meet the promoter entity and i'll put this question to him let's see what he yes, has to say that would be the on best. that track <laughs> Wish you all the best. It's been a good Thank turnaround. You You're sounding optimistic about business going ahead. We look forward to having a chat with you in the time to come. Well, for the time being, though, we'll uh, slip into a short break, come back, continue our focus on markets and stock-specific action.